Hello YouTube, welcome back to our part two video here at improvedguns.com. Today we're going to be installing a DF-207 improved ejector into this standard AR-10 rifle. This rifle is all stock, all factory, no modifications have been done whatsoever. It's got a low round count and is a perfect candidate for a performance test. To install one of these parts, once you remove the bolt, you will need a 1 16th punch of some sort. You will also need a hammer. Today, in this particular platform, uh, the 207 ejector, uh, it shouldn't take long, but we're going to find out. So first, we're going to make sure the gun is clear. Clear. Push the takedown pin. Separate the action. Slide the bolt out while retaining the charging handle. As you can see here, this standard 308 AR-10 style ejector, as you can see, we will be replacing that. Take your 1 16th punch, drive out the retaining pin just enough to relieve the ejector. Place your finger over the ejector, remove your punch. Then you will set out the mil spec standard ejector. Get your DF-207 available from improveguns.com. Remove it from the package. You will replace this ejector with the retaining slot facing the extractor. Now to seat this to restate the retaining pin, I prefer to use a spent cartridge case. Take a spent cartridge case and hook it under the extractor while pushing down on the ejector. This will allow you to take your 1 16th punch and put in the retaining slot to make sure that the ejector is lined up. So then you will take and drive in the retaining pin Use your punch to finish seating the retaining pin. And there you have it, the improved ejector. Very simple. That didn't take too long. So the benefit of this improved ejector, as you can see, has two contact engagement surfaces that match the contour of the bolt face. This should allow the base of the cartridge to go into the center of the bolt face when it feeds. There should be no jams, no stove pops. It should improve our accuracy and improve our cycle time. And if we ever decided to run a suppressor, it would also cut down on action noise. So stay tuned for the next video and the performance test. 